Hey what's up guys I'm at here. So did you recently update to iOS 18.0 just like me and you are regretting it since it's a beta update so it includes many bugs and the battery timing is also not the best when talking about the beta updates. So now you are thinking about going back to the iOS 17 and you're thinking about not losing data just like every year since it's an early stage of the iOS 18 version so you might be facing issues when using iTunes so you do not need to worry about it. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to downgrade iOS 18 to iOS 17. In this video we are talking about the Tenorshare Reboot which can help you in fixing many issues. So without any further delay let's get into today's video and downgrade the iPhone 11 from iOS 18 to iOS 17 stable version. So to start off the process first of all you will need to visit Safari or any other web browser and you need to visit www.tenorshare.com So as you can see that we have the Tenorshare Reboot introduction here and if you scroll down they also offer many other applications. In today's video we are focusing on Tenorshare Reboot. So Tenorshare is available for both macOS as well as Windows. If you scroll down it is recommended by many popular websites and it provides AI powered repair. It can fix 150 plus iOS and iPad OS system issues at home. It also offers entering and exiting recovery mode for it offers three modes to fix the iOS, iPad OS, TV OS and Mac OS system issues. Recently the Tenorshi Reboot has been updated to support iOS 18 beta downgrade as well as update with ease. In this video we will be downgrading from iOS 18 beta to the iOS 17 stable version. The good thing is that it does not require jailbreaking. It can also fix all other iPhones and iTunes errors. So without any further delay let's go ahead and download it. So the file is currently being downloaded. Let's wait for it to finish. So now the file has been downloaded. After that here is the application. All you need to do is just drag and drop it to the applications folder. After that all you need to do is double click to open it. As you have downloaded this file from internet. So that's why you will have to allow Allow the macOS system to open it for that click on open so it has many options the recovery mode option is completely free it offers one click to enter or exit recovery mode then we have many other options here we have the iOS upgrade and downgrade option then we have anti data recovery mode which will completely erase all of the data on your iPhone then we have the one click reset option in the end we have the more features option which also features many other options as you can see you can click on start repair and select the issue with your device and it will guide you according to that on how to fix that issue. In this video we are downgrading our iPhone from iOS 18 beta to the iOS 17 stable version. So I'll have to select this option. So now I have connected my iPhone 11 to start the process. Before starting I would recommend you to go to finder or use iTunes if you are using Mac OS Mojave or lower. I would recommend you to take a backup on your Mac or the Windows PC because on a backup taken on iCloud you won't be able to restore it on a lower version while well, you can check out my video in the description box below on how to use a backup of a higher version on a lower ios version so once you have the backup you can come back to the nurture reboot and then click on ios upgrade downgrade tool so if you're upgrading then you can choose this option it will preserve the data but while using the downgrade option you will face data loss this is why i have recommended backing up the data so we have a few notes given here it is recommended to back up your device before downgrading ensure that ios device has enough power then you if you're using a laptop please start it during the downgrade process if your laptop shuts down during the process it's gonna break the software on your ios device after that you will need a stable internet connection and it is recommended to use an original apple usb cable so after that move forward and click on downgrade so there are two options given here we have the version option here you can choose the signed version from here and download it using the reboot server and if you have already downloaded the firmware you can use the import local firmware option if you believe downloading the firmware on your web browser would be faster you can visit ipsw.me here select the device then select the device model and here you will see the signed ipsw only the signed version will work the unsigned versions won't work so you can go ahead and download this file right here so here is the file i downloaded if you have also downloaded it you can click on import local firmware here go to desktop and here i have the file so here you can see that the firmware package is now ready to install so here you can see that currently my device is connected so now i'm gonna go ahead and click on downgrade here you you can see that you are about to perform cross version downgrade because you are going a generation back from iOS 18 to iOS 17. So it will erase all of the data on your device. Please confirm whether to continue downgrade or not. So after that you will have to click on continue and now you can see that it is verifying and analyzing the firmware package and then it's going to start downgrading our iPhone 11 to the iOS 17.5.1. So now you can see that it is extracting the firmware and the downgrade is about to happen. 
so let's wait for it to finish So the downgrade is complete, now it is waiting for connecting the device. Now the iPhone 11 is gonna restart and finish the firmware upgrade and after that it will turn on. So let's wait for it. So if you update it, you will see a progress bar that the device is updating. You will have to wait a moment and wait till the device gets back to normal. And if the update didn't go well for you, you will have to manually restart and try downgrading again. And here you can see that my iPhone 11 has turned on on the hello screen on the iOS 17.5.1 So let's go ahead and set it up So here is my iPhone 11 on the hello screen So I'm gonna go ahead and quickly set it up So now I have set it up, let's swipe up to get started Now I'm gonna take you to settings and scroll down to general and about So here my iPhone 11 has been finally downgraded to iOS 17.5.1 So this is how easy it was to go back to the iOS 17 version This method is completely safe and hopefully it won't break your device If it breaks your device, all you have to do is manually restart it and downgrade again Now you might be interested how to get the data back in your device So if you would like to know how to restore an iOS version to an earlier version of iOS, you can find the link of my video in the description box below. I've guided how to do this process on both macOS as well as the Windows PC. So you can find the link of this video in the description box below. So if you would like to purchase Tenorshare, you can find the link in the description box below. And for more videos like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications for the future videos. I will catch you in the next one. Until next time, this is iMat. Peace.